So for today's technical corner, I'm with Simon Docker from Open Mind UK. Um, Simon, what we want to touch on today is I want to talk about this this part here and how you went about programming it using your popular Hypermill software and really how much time was saved as a result of using your solution. So firstly, maybe tell us what it is and how you went about it. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a brake caliper for the, um, the GT Touring Car, uh, Chinese Touring Car Championship. Um, it's a three-axis part, predominantly. Um, obviously, by uh, one of our customers called Alcon Components in Tamworth. The um, the programming time in, in their previous CAM system, they've been using Hypermill for the last two years, since the end of 2016. And their previous CAM system, they were taking uh, about five days to program this part. It's now been reduced down to one day. So they had a CAM using solution, Hypermil. but yep. by using Hypermill, they say they, they reduced it from five days to one day. So what's in your software that maybe the other wasn't in the mm. other that enabled them to do that? Because it looks like there's lots of complex features on this uh, part. It looks like the, there's a lot of machining, certainly. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of machining. I mean, the, the cycle time for this was about four hours, but like I say, the the benefit came really on programming time. Um, for predominantly, the reason, one of the reasons why the program time was reduced so heavily with using Hypermill was the ability to mirror a project over from left to right hand, uh, and, and as well as mirror, respect the cutting parameters. So for example, if it's climb cutting on the left hand side, when you mirror it over, you want to respect that condition on the right hand side. But surely that would assume that whatever you're doing one side, you're, you're doing on the other, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So basically, the mirror function is something that you're offering that maybe other cam, uh, the other cam system wasn't. Yes. So when you look at that, that would half immediately mm. your programming yeah. time, wouldn't it? Uh, what else? Well, the customer, and this is a customer's words. Um, they said that because of the amount of additional cycles in in Hypermill, it gives them a lot more flexibility on the route that they want to go down when they're programming a part. So before, I think they were limited with the route that they could take. But because there's such a variety of different cycles available in Hypermill, it gave them a much much wider scope to program the part slightly differently. So do they get to choose? They've almost got an array of options then as to yeah. which paths and cycle paths or ways they can machine it. They select what they think is best. Yeah. And therefore, that may be faster than someone just giving you a standard. Yes, cycle. exactly. Yeah, they, they can fine tune that, that, that process or fine tune the programming of that part to make it more efficient. So, taking all this into account, I mean, the, with a part like this, there's lots of machining going on. How about making sure and verifying that some of those paths that you have chosen mm. uh, are good and you're not going to have a collision or something's not going to happen? Well, I mean, Hypermill is an extremely uh, safe package, uh, software cam package. Um, it, it, it performs several different layers of verification, collision verification. So when it calculates a toolpath initially, it's going through a, a collision check. It's also checking against the, the stock model or the, the CAD model or the stock model as you're going along. It's doing an additional check if you simulate the, the cycle within Hypermill and it's doing a further check when it's post-processing. So there's several layers of of, of collision detection throughout the whole process. And we've specifically talked about this this part today and the savings that the, your, your customer made as a result of your software. Yeah. Does that apply to most applications? Is, is Hypermill that much better than other CAM systems that you can be looking at, you know, uh, producing parts in 25% of the programming time or 20 foot, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I'm bound to say yes to that question, but yeah, I, I mean, there are, you know, there, there are a significant amount of extremely efficient tool paths in Hypermill. It's, it's not just the efficiency, as in the cycle time, it's the quality that you're going to get on the final part. You know, the tool paths are extremely smooth, which is going to produce better results when it's been machined on the, on the CNC. And isn't your limiting factor, though, always going to be the cutting tool that you use in conjunction with the software, the machine that you're integrating with it all, because if you haven't got the best of those worlds, how are you expected to deliver the best result? You know, yeah. is there any way in your software can actually say, you should use this tool, you should use this machine, or or you've programmed those elements into it and it gives you the, the uh, correct cycle time or programming path based on those associated products? Uh, it's, a, it's a really good question, and I'm glad you've raised that because it's it's not all about the CAM system. Like you said, it's it's a series of components that you put together to form the best possible result mm. with 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 those tools. You know, the CAM system is a tool, 
along along with the CNC machine. So you know, if you if you've got a you, a really high quality um, part that needs to be extremely accurate, it needs to go on the relevant machine to be able to achieve that accuracy. The CAM system won't do that for you. Mm. But by adding all of these components together, you know, you've got a solution for each type of industry or application that you that you 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 you. I suppose if the question was worded in the other way and someone said I've I've got the I've got the best machine and the best cutting tool and I need I need to make sure I've got the best cam package to go with it your answer to that would be well we have well I think our, our technical partners are are really a, a, an example of that because you know the, the the majority of the technical partners whenever you get to the certainly the high not only the high end but you know most level of machining where it needs to be accurate it needs to be good quality good finish mm. They'll naturally choose Hypermill as their, their preferred solution in that instance. Perfect way to end this, Simon. So here we have it. We've, we've explored this component. We've talked about mirroring features and various things that can actually uh, significantly improve the efficiency of your, your programming and your machining. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you.